Hi friends, this is Mohamad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the exception handling. So what is exception? Exception is nothing but a runtime error which uh, occurs during the execution of your program. You might have written the code correctly, but the values given by the user does not does not goes with the code you have written. So for that uh, scenario, you have to uh, give the user a particular message pertaining to that problem because uh, you don't want your application to freeze or just to exit without responding to the user suppose uh, you want to read from a file but that file is not available on his system so you should tell him that uh, he's not having that that required file so just to handle this scenario scenarios like this we go for uh, exception handling mechanism in exception handling mechanism we have uh, two main blocks that is a try block and a catch block okay so in these two blocks we write our exception handling code okay so what uh, goes in the try block is the code which we would like to check code which is to be checked whether this code works fine or not if this code is having a problem then we can go uh, and uh, do something which we uh, want to do like mis displaying a message to the user saying that the that file is not found so here we will write the code which might throw an exception or which might throw an uh, runtime error and uh, here we will do something the message to user which will tell him what that problem has uh, why the, that problem has occurred suppose uh, you are doing a calculation in which uh, your code works only on integers but the user has given you a float or a character value so you would like to tell him that please enter the integers only so that your application work can work fine so this is how we do it and in the try block once we find that our uh, code is not working we will throw that we will go we will use this throw keyword to uh, throw that error to this catch block once you throw it you need someone to catch it so just to uh, catch it we have this catch block so now we will be explaining this with an code the basic example of exception handling is the division by zero so let us write that program only first of all let me have some uh, variables a and b and then a float variable c and let us prompt to the user to enter first number and uh, then uh, if when the user gives that it will store that in our variable a second time we will uh, tell the user to enter second number and uh, we will store that in our variable b once we have both the values we will try to divide uh, a with b so in try block we will write the code which is to be checked so i will uh, do a simple if statement if the value in b is not equal to zero okay so I don't want my B value to be 0 if uh, B is 0 then as you know simple maths uh, the solution will be infinity so we don't want that we want a particular number to come as our result so just for that I'm checking if my B is uh, not equal to 0 then I can uh, divide A with B and then I will display the result the result is C okay and uh, if our uh, B value is 0 I mean this if this condition is not true then we will go to the else part and in the else part I will just write this throw statement and I will throw the value stored in B so once uh, my compiler reaches this else part 
it will throw the value in B that is 0 and we will come to this uh, catch block and here I will explain a, um, give a simple message to the user which will tell him what's the problem division cannot be performed or you can say the answer is infinity as b is and uh, we can take the value of b like this as we are throwing the value in in b like this you can do it so if i now run this the first number is uh, uh, 6 and the second number is 3 so the result is 2 works fine with these values and if I go again the first value is 100 and the second value is 50 again it's 2 or if I can go again with 125 it's say 4 nice now uh, after all these successful attempts the user went and typed uh, first number 25 and the second number is 0 and hey it's enter so the result is the answer is infinity as B is 0 so now we have a particular way to explaining to the user that what is wrong in the application so now he understands that he cannot enter uh, he cannot give a zero value so he will when next time he runs the application he will give away a good value with which our application can work so that was it about the exception handling hope you understood about it and uh, if you still have any problems do let me know about it so thanks for watching.